All right, what up, Put That Nation? Um, we're gonna chop it up right quick about um the new additions we just got. Um, first we're gonna start off with um with DJ Swearner. Um, this is a guy that we picked up today earlier today. Um, a little bit about this guy. He's definitely been a journeyman. Um, believe this is his sixteen. You know that he's been on. Um, and I just done a little um. I remember him playing for the Redskins because uh, that's my homeboy's team. I remember him playing for the Redskins. But um, I looked at um, Pro Football Focus, and they had this man um, graded, you know, and his passer rating against the um, the pass was a 148.3. No, it was a 145.3, you know, so he was definitely um, not a good cover safety. Um, you know, and then I kept looking at some other, you know, stuff and I saw some little sources of how he left, um, how he got cut from other teams. And, um, let's see, Houston was one Houston. He got cut by Houston cause they said, um, you know, he wasn't interested in playing special teams. He didn't want to play special teams, you know, so they cut him from there. Then I think he went from there to the Redskins. And then when the Redskins cut him, um, you know, with some sources saying that, um, you know, he was a locker room problem. And, um, you know, he was pointing fingers, you know, after every game, I guess, when they was losing. You know, he was blaming the other players and coaches, basically not being accountable of what he was doing on the field. You know, so I'm pretty sure that, you know, caused some locker room issues. So they done away with him, you know, then. Then this last team he went to was the Arizona Cardinals. And um, he played the first four games. And at the end of the month of September, they released him, you know, basically saying that um, he was giving up so many yards and stuff like that. Um, so they done away with him. So... WD for man. How you feeling on this guy before we before I get back on him? How, how you well, first addition. First thing first, uh his character, man. Like this is, yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting, bro. To be honest with you, man, I'll you know, I like I do like feisty safeties, man. And he really is a feisty safety, man. He can hit, you know what I'm saying? I love hitters, man. He can lay the wood. My whole thing is, you know, in coverage, man, you know, it, he can definitely have his ups and downs. You know, that's the downfall with him at the same time. That's an assignment. But as far as land lumber, man, I love that. Now, at the same time, you know, you got to think about this move and see why we signed him. Because at the same time, we released the safety to sign the safety. We got rid of TJ Green and Science Swearinger, man. So I'm just pretty curious, man. Like, is Bond Bell really hurt that bad? I understand CGJ got a concussion. So we gotta we gotta see about all that. Man. But I'm I'm very curious to see how this is gonna work with Swearinger, bro. Right? Cause I, I kind of like his I like his attitude on the field. Like he don't take no BS, man. He with it. He gonna pop you, bro. That's what I like. You know, that's what I love him to see. In coverage, man, we just gotta see what position uh Dennis Allen gonna put him. He can make plays now. He can make plays, bro. He can make uh he, he's good at good, getting a good few picks, man. He even had a pick versus Brady's, man, just a couple years ago. So yeah, man, I'm I'm I, I wanna see this, man. I, I just wanna see. I, how he gonna rock with us? Right, and you know, you mentioned that the injuries could be an issue. You know, I mean, somebody may be hurt, you know, severely than um what we know right now. You know, or it could just be, you know, just to get some more depth. Uh, we don't know, but um, you know, like I said, whatever we use him in, he's definitely not going to be, you know. He he better not be um you know following nobody, you know out to the receiving line and 
you know, drop him back in cover. Just have the guy, you know, just plan, you know, just plan up at the line. Just let him operate at the line, and um, you know, we just go from there. But yeah, we definitely 145.3 passer rating. You know, that's definitely unacceptable. And can't right. be tolerated. You know, in the NL. And Bob, and one thing I do remember, um, I believe we played. I'm not sure if he was on the Redskins or not, but Swearinger and Mike had a few words for each other. You know, oh yeah, we, yeah was, that, was, that was last year. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, had a few words for a uh, Mike. Yeah, you saying he was about. doing. They, they basically were saying that he was doing stuff after the game. I mean, after the plays. You know, I, I don't know. I know Josh Norman and him went at each other, but. But yeah, DJ that definitely had some stuff to say. I mean, at the end of the day, man, he got us, you know, they gotta settle all that, man. You know, on the right. same team, man, we trying to get a Super Bowl. So yeah, I definitely recall that. All right. So basically, you know, you put everything in a nutshell with DJ Man. Um, you know, just welcome to the squad, you know. Hopefully you can help us be successful. You know, if your name is called, you know, um you probably be on special team. You can lay that number. We're going to need some lumber laid on special teams. So, you know, you'll definitely be getting some snaps. Um, we just wish the best for you, man. And hopefully you can help us out and not be no liability for us. You know, especially hopefully we don't get to a point to where we have to have you dropping back in coverage on our defense because we definitely don't trust you. I mean, those numbers, you know, is telling us not to trust you in coverage. But once again, you know, welcome to the squad. Hopefully, you hold it down for us. Yeah. Okay, well, now. one more thing. Wait, one more thing before uh, we get on to the next. Uh, the Raiders, man. I know he was on. I, I guess he was on the Raiders, man. I didn't even know. But uh, evidently, yeah, I, I think he did pretty okay from what what the uh, people, what fans were saying. So, so let's see, man. Right, right. So once again, man, just welcome to the squad, you know, and come help us out, man. Okay, um, now we can get to the most intriguing addition, um, Janoris Jenkins. Janoris Jenkins, I'm not sure how old he is. But I he's think 31. Been, 31. He's he been around in the league, especially um when he's with the rounds. I think that was, you know, pretty – you know, pretty wild back, but you know, nonetheless, um, you know, we've seen what this guy can do in this league. Um, you know, has this guy lost a step? You know, I'm not exactly sure. I can't say that because um, you know, the organization this guy has been playing for, you know, really hadn't been successful. Um, but you know, I has I did see a few plays against him, um, against Omar, him versus Omar, you know, last year, and he done solid against us. So um, I think he still got some juice left. And um he definitely um you know can help us out at corner. I definitely think that he, you know, can be the number two option. Oh yeah. You know, I know Cats was um I was just looking at some videos. There's some Giants fans talking about, you know, he hot garbage. Um, but I kind of think once once he starts seeing players get traded, that's just like when Eli got traded and then Harrison got traded, the D-tackle. When you start moving pieces like that, do you think he really want to rebuild? So, like I said, the hunger and stuff was there. He was probably trying to play his way out. That's just like the situation with the, the Twitter incident. Like I said, I'm all, you know, of course, there's certain stuff that we shouldn't be saying and stuff like that. But, you know, just that line right there, just in my opinion, others may think differently. But I don't think that should be a cause to get released. And, um, you know, on the John side, they basically saying that, um, he he didn't take the apology serious. Something like that, or he wouldn't apologize. But um I think he was basically that right there. He was just trying to get his way up out of there. Oh yeah, and I'm glad he did. 
Cause uh, <laughs> <laughs> open arms, man. <laughs> open arms. And man, now, look, man. He's with a contender. He's he's with a contender that got a legit chance to go to the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, you know, and guess what? Now, yeah. yeah. Well, with even better, he don't have to be the number one corner, man. Right. Incredible, man. So I, I would take a Janoris Jenkins going up against a number two cornerback any day. And like I said, when when Janoris back in back in little his early days with the Giants as well, that guy was, in my opinion, he was a top five corner at yeah, a little stretch. Good. At a little stretch, you know, during some of those seasons, he was playing like a top five corner. You know, so like in my opinion. He coming from a trash squad that's gonna be like basically like in the lottery pick of the NFL. You're going from that, and then you come into a, a team that's contending for a Super Bowl. His swag, his swag game is gonna, you know, flourish. You know, he definitely gonna get his hunger back and all of that. Regardless of how good a person is on the field, you know, when you know that you're actually playing for something. You know, you just gonna grind harder. That I mean, that's just a no burner. You just gonna grind that much harder. You know, so good addition. And I don't know. I just know we're not bringing this guy in. He's not gonna be, you know, rotating. He he's not gonna be a rotating piece. He's definitely not doing that. So um. <laughs> Uh man, I, I man, I don't I don't wanna really say it like that, but you know, Eli he he's definitely about to lose some snaps. And like mm -hmm. I said, if Brissett would have got off on some of those passes, you know, he would have been getting beat again. You know, because Brissett was really overthrowing, you know, some of the some of them throws was overthrows, you know, but like I said, we'll see, man. We'll see. And I wish the best for Eli. Like I said, I hadn't lost all confidence in him. But at this point, man, we can't we can't be getting beat like that. Yeah. All these people. The season about to start. Really, really that 49ers game, it, it just it's it exposed a lot of problems, you know, on our team. It definitely exposed that if you know, we go up against a strong you know, a strong house team in the playoffs. Eli is, I mean, Eli is going to be a liability. And like I said, we can go up against Tennessee and Eli, you know, shut, shut the receiver out. But what about when you're going up against a playoff caliber team and he got a guard, uh, he got a guard uh, of Stephon Diggs. I'm saying that we wouldn't have never picked up Janoris. He would have been going on a, you know, a Stephon Diggs or an Adam Thielen. Yeah, and he was. I mean, that's who we best. We we might be playing them round one yeah. wild card. If we remain a three seed, we're gonna be playing them wild card weekend. As of right now, all right. That's the that that would have been the matchup. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like we, you know, I'm glad Sean them at it. Accordingly, you know, yeah. and of course, Sean, you know, he's downplaying it in the interviews and stuff. You know, he's like, he like, you know, Eli has been playing. He's been playing good, minus the past three, the three weeks to a month. But at the same time, like you said, bro, this is the wrong time for you to not be having confidence. We need that going to the playoffs. So, okay. yeah. that's simple. Right. I wish these guys the best, man. I, I'm I'm glad the Saints got some uh, two dudes from the uh, jury game, man. I just want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, but um, yeah. Once again, welcome to Norris. And um, like I said, you shouldn't be. I mean, like I said, that little incident that really ain't. I mean, I like I said, you apologize. I saw you apologize and stuff. I mean, that really wasn't nothing to, you know, be getting cut over, in my opinion, once again. But anyway, um, you know, just on to the football side of things, man. We are expecting you to step in, you know, 
and help us shut down these receivers. And then just let's just say, let's just, and, and another thing, let's just say, um, I'm not, I'm not wishing it. I'm just saying, let's just say Eli, um, not Eli, but Lattimore tweets. Oh, man. Boom. Well, I I'm saying that. at least we do got another corner. We, yeah. At least we can do got another outside corner instead of throwing PJ out there. I like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we done got some more depth at that on the outside as well. So, you know, once again, welcome to the squad. You got anything else to say, WD? Let's roll, man. All right, Janoris, man, we looking forward to seeing you. I seen your interview, man. I'm about to go check it out. You know, embrace you, man. We looking forward to you helping us, you know, get on this journey to the Super Bowl, man. Who that? We out.